Hello, this is just a short video addressing a few of the questions that some people viewing this channel have asked, specifically about the outdoor units and the running costs. Briefly, I have installed two air-to-air -air heat pumps in our three-bedroom townhouse. I have covered the installation of the indoor units in a couple of my previous videos. Firstly, I'd like to say any sound generated by these units is quite negligible. Here are two clips of the two outdoor units that I have fitted. The sounds you can hear are mainly ambient and the sound of the air rushing past the device I've made this recording with. Both of the outdoor units are sat on the floor as opposed to being mounted on wall brackets. In this clip you can see neither of them is a perfect textbook installation but both work perfectly fine. Here you can see I've built a kind of false cupboard around the outdoor unit in the back garden. This serves two purposes. One to keep my wife happy because she said she doesn't like looking at the um, unit in the back garden. And two to protect the unit and the associated pipe work and cables from potential dart damage. As my wife's teenage grandson Joseph always likes to have a game whenever he visits. And whenever we do play I'm always the winner. So although this particular outdoor unit is housed within this make-believe cupboard, it still works perfectly well. Obviously doors open when it's running and doors closed when it's not running or darts are being played. I expected any sound generated by the unit to be amplified by the fake cupboard but it really didn't make any difference. Each year my wife has a certain theme in her back garden. This year it's rustic and shabby chic which is just as well because that just about sums up my carpentry skills. The images you can see now are for my energy usage for January, February, March and April of this year 2024. The brown and the blue shaded areas represent this year's usage and the markers above show the usage in the same month of 2023. From this information I've been able to calculate the cost difference between these two periods over the last two years. So over this four month period in 2023 my total energy costs were £1,197. For the same four month period in 2024 my total energy costs were £685. That is a ridiculous saving of £539. I know there are a few variables to take into consideration such as um, uh, milder winters or um, energy costs. Another factor is that we've modified the way that we use our heating. For instance, we don't put the heat pumps on an hour before we get up or an hour before we come home to heat up the fabric of the property. As the heat is more or less instantaneous so therefore the running time of the unit is not as much as uh, it would be for your gas boiler. In fact I'd go as far to say that this has made the biggest contribution to our fuel savings. Please don't misunderstand me we still have gas central heating in our property and the boiler heats the water and the towel rails in the bathrooms but the heat pumps I've installed are just so effective and so efficient. And to top it all, they're just so convenient. So to summarise, I'm more than happy with these two air source heat pumps that I've installed. And more importantly, my wife is very happy with the results. Thank you for watching it and um, please leave a comment or ask a question. And if you want to, please subscribe. It is free.